How are you managing your energy? Good morning and welcome to In The Car With Clint. Today I want to talk to you about energy management systems, EMS. It's not a thing. It probably is a thing. You know that feeling you get like when you wake up in the morning and there's something that you're doing that day that excites you. You might be going on a holiday, you might be going to watch your favorite team play a sport, you might get to see your kids that weekend. Whatever it might be, it's effortless for you to get out of bed, you're energized, you don't need an alarm, you're excited and you get up and you just do it. That's the feeling that a lot of entrepreneurs feel every day. And it's effortless to get out of bed and it's almost at the point where it's hard for them to go to sleep and then it's easy for them to wake up because they're so focused on the the goal that they're chasing or the, the project that they're working on or um, whatever it is that, that occupies their brain. And it can, if you don't, if you're not careful as an entrepreneur um, or a business owner, you can get caught up spending a lot of time in the things that don't give you energy, the things that you have to do, like the things that the government needs you to do or the things that your staff needs you to do or um, the non-artistic, non-fun, non-energizing things. Now, I've spoken to you guys before about hydration and diet and movement and meditation and all of these things that I believe, and you know, I don't practice all of them well enough, but I believe contribute to the management of energy but I don't think I've spoken to you about the stuff that feeds your soul and the stuff that you know gives you the energy to to be able to sustain a life that most people probably can't and for me it's human contact so I if I spend an extended amount of time at a desk working on something at a computer I don't notice it straight away, but I start to, like my batteries start to go flat and I need to recharge and I've worked out that the way that I recharge is to spend time with people and talk to people and, you know, have a meal and laugh and I get re-energized. Now, for you, it might be that you get drained from talking to people and that you need to spend time alone to re-energize or that you need to uh, go for a run or hit a punching bag for an hour or do some BJJ or do some art or watch YouTube or watch a Netflix series or whatever it might be that recharges you and gives you energy, that it is real. And if you go for too long without recharging and I think it, it can really be miscommunicated by coaches and um, well wishes that you know you just need to recharge now in in their definition it's like go away go on a holiday and just lie on a beach and do whatever but the reality is not everyone gets energy from that some people really struggle with the idea of doing nothing for a long period of time. So I agree that as a human being you must recharge. I think the gap is that not everyone knows what their source of energy is and where they get that charge from and I encourage you to start thinking about those moments in your day when you feel alive, when you feel at your best the things you look forward to, the people you want to spend time with, the activities that you do that give you the energy that is unparalleled, that adrenaline energy, like, you know, driving fast or listening to loud music or whatever it is, take note of it when you're doing it and, and even write it down so that when you're feeling drained or like just meh, meh, like, I described it as feeling half. So yesterday and the day before, I felt half, which for me is probably elevated above a lot of people's natural full. But I just felt half. So 
if you're feeling half, go and do the things that give you energy and recharge. For me, it's spending time with people. And thankfully, I talked about it on a video yesterday. It didn't go live, it hasn't gone up yet. But I put it into the universe that I was, you know, just kind of didn't care. I wasn't feeling it. And someone reached out and said, hey, you want to have breakfast tomorrow morning? Perfect. Now I get to spend time with people, right? Now I'm energized. I'm heading for, out for breakfast. I get to talk to people, which is what I love. Spend time with people, share food with people. So this has been a public service announcement around your EMS, your energy management systems. You need to get a framework. Yeah, I learned that when I did my board of directors course. Get a framework around that. And, uh, and you'll have an energy management system framework, uh, which will make, ensure that you are rarely at half and mostly at full. That's it. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with someone who you believe may need to implement a framework around energy management. If you didn't like this video, I'm sorry. Um, it might be a good opportunity for you to go do something that gives you energy and you can recharge. Be kind to each other. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. See ya.